GM Lee is getting some tips and inspiration this morning from designer and artist Stephen Savados. Yeah, today G is back in Stephen's studio loft with some more great ideas to transform your space. And G, I understand you're going to be decorating pillows this morning. Yeah, we're going to be doing leaf uh, stenciling, leaf printing. Printing. <laughs> See, this is why we're so good. He completes my sentences. Absolutely. And on a rainy day like today, this is the perfect thing to do indoors with the kids. I was just going to say the perfect rainy day project. I used to have all these, uh, or my mother had all these when I was a little kid, like sort of locked away in her head. Um, or you know what, a great uh, thing to do when you're at the cottage. Oh, nice. You know, with the kids and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So, because literally all we need are leaves. <laughs> right? So, honestly, it's like an abundance outside. So whether this be stuff from your garden mm. or maybe leaves from the tree or the thing, a great thing for the kids to go out and say, okay, collect the best leaves you can find, right? So we're going to bring them back. So the next thing we need, Ji Hyun, is um, this is watercolor paper. Okay, so it has to be watercolor paper because it needs to be quite thick. So mm. this is not that thin kind of paper. In here, you can use regular tea. Like tea that you drink? Tea that you oh. drink. Or you can use, uh, uh, in here, this is just a little bit of uh, uh, ink uh, and water. And then here, just let me get a paper towel here. And what does and this do? You just basically want to just smush it around. And what that'll do is it just gets like a dirty oh. paper. <laughs> right? So technically, we want to make dirty paper. OK. Or antique paper, I should okay. say, not dirty. So from here, hun, select your leaf. Yes, I'm going to go for the big one. Okay. And they have to be pretty like sturdy. A good sturdy leaf, yeah. because if they're not so sturdy, then yeah, they'll just fall apart. Okay. So put the leaf down here, hun. And then what you want to do is, here we have a bit of, this is just acrylic paint. So if you just want to do that okay. over the whole leaf. And what color have you chosen so here? So I just have sort of like a neutral, like a beigey brown. Mm -hmm. You can use green, as you can see on the pillows that I did over there, yes. um, or any other color. But I find this browny antique color when you're doing the antique paper, uh -huh. it sort of has that sort of nice, like it's been around like an old documented leaf. Love it. You know, so we do that. And then from here, we're gonna put her down. On the like, other side. So okay. we're gonna flip it down. Right. We're gonna put a piece of paper on top. Oh, and this is and just part, any paper or? Just regular parchment okay. or thing. And then get your rolling pin, roll away. Okay. Really hard. It's so just so you know, really? I don't really use rolling pins at all. <laughs> I'm not a baker, so this is new to me. Am I doing this correctly? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I love you. Okay. okay, so this is good. So we're going to pull this up. And look, we peel this back. Oh! There you go. See? Just like that. Just like that. Simple, simple, simple. Um, and from there, you can uh, let those dry, whatever. I just want to show you one here if we did on a pillowcase. So here in this jar, yes. I have got black acrylic, or it's black acrylic fabric paint. Okay, so most art supply stores, you can get it. Um, and it's just literally, I'm gonna spread this on quickly so we don't run out of time. And spread that on. So when you are putting a thin, thin, thin coat. Okay. Because the thicker it is, it's not gonna be so good. We just have a regular inexpensive pillowcase. And then again, do you need the paper? Oh, paper here, I got okay. some here. And we're gonna do this. Got my rolling pin. Oh, see, and you're a pro at this. Oh, I should say, if you roll it with your hands this way, yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, we're gonna do this. We're gonna lift <gasps> that up. And. And then it's a modern version. It's a modern version, so you yeah. can do over here, we've got like green ones. Um, you know, which are kind of like, you know, super cute. And right. again, say if you had those in your garden, <gasps> yes. um, they would be great that you can sort of document it. Here's a huge maple leaf I did. But if you want something more contemporary, like you said, yeah. we can have the two in black and white, which is kind of chic. I love you know? it. And simple, simple. Yeah. And I guess you could only really use leaves, right? You couldn't use any other object. You could use flowers and things like that if it's a hardy flower, uh -huh. although it may fall apart when you're rolling it. That's why you need sort of a hardy leaf. Also, I should say, once this is dry in the fabric, it's fabric paint, just heat set it with a hot iron okay. for like 10 minutes and it's permanent. And how long would you need it to dry? Uh, I would probably say only about an hour. You know what I do? I get a hair dryer and I dry it because I'm impatient. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. And then in terms of the uh, fabric for the pillow, anything really works or Inexpensive no? cotton pillow slip. Oh my god. Cotton, linen, what have you. And again, these are just super inexpensive ones I got from big box stores. 
Okay, like, and then we would, should point out you oh, framing this, right? Yeah, so I framed these little guys here, and then just uh, underneath, I just did like number 53. So it almost feels more documented, <laughs> and it kind of has a little more, you know, it's a little more authentic. But I think, you know, again, if you hang them, a huge uh, collection of these. Yes. I think it's sort of a great thing of what was in your garden. For sure, and this you is know? a huge trend right now, right? Yeah, huge trend right now. And again, because you think it's biophilia, mm. we're bringing nature back in, and again, we're sort of, it's an abundance. I love it's just, that. It believes, that's all it is. There free, you, free supplies. There you go, okay. Thank you so much for more information on Steven Sabados. You can follow him on Instagram and stevensabados.com. The Marner All-Star Invitational is back for its sixth year, bringing together the community, famous figures, and pro athletes all in a friendly competition and celebration. Let's check in right now with CB24's G Yun Lee. Live, G, you know you live and work in a hockey mad city where for the last two days, you've been on a hockey story in July, I might point out. July. I know, it does feel weird wearing a parka <laughs> in July. Right. But I guess this is the hockey life, right? Um, and we are here, obviously, in Vaughan and Sports Village. I just got on the ice, so I'm not warmed up. And I don't think I um, um, got my skates warmed up for that. But that's OK. That's OK. Natasha joins me now with the <laughs> Mitch Marner Assist Foundation. Good morning. Hi. 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 We'll get those sharpened up for you. Don't I worry. Know. You'll be good. You'll be good. Because it's been a while since I've been <laughs> on skates. So let's talk about uh, this big event. Last night was a tailgate party, oh and now gosh. it's the Invitational. Yes, we're here for the sixth annual Marner All-Star Invitational. It's so exciting. I can't even believe it's six years. I was wow. actually introducing Mitchell last night, <laughs> saying, wow, you were like 19 when we started this. This is crazy. <laughs> Um, so this is day two of the event. Day one, as you know, was the yes. tailgate party where we do our fundraising. And so we're very grateful. All of our sponsors, donors, amazing night. We raised a lot of money for our charities. Yeah. Um, now today, it's on the ice. So teams of four go and compete on four different pads. This that we're watching here is warm up for the relay race today, which is really exciting. The kids love this. So they all have two or three pros on each pad and they get to learn tips and tricks and skills wow. and I mean it's a relay race but they're in it like these kids already are little mini Marners <laughs> and mini, mini Marners and mini it's amazing really quickly a lot of money raised for various uh, organizations yes. can you name some of those well we're a funding foundation yes, yeah. so we raise money to allocate funds to organizations that are close to the Marner family yeah. so second harvest I think 400,000 meals we put out a lot of them are at lunchtime for kids that are in under-resourced areas um, that just would not have a, a good meal, healthy meal at home. We have Salvation Army. We have a huge, as you know, we do a big uh, give a gift event. So yeah. we do toys, toiletries, food again during the holidays. Uh, 360 Kids, which is a um, an organization here in Vaughan, yeah. um, which is unbelievable. Uh, kids that... Um, you know, have um, just fallen hard on their luck and need a, a safe place to stay in a haven. There's so much. Really quickly, if anybody yeah. wants to help, where can they go in terms of the Mitch Marner uh, Assist Foundation? MarnerAssistFoundation.com for a 100% tax receivable donation. There you go. Thank you, Natasha. Really quickly, we're going to speak to a few NHL alumni. I've got Gary here and Mike. Come on over. Uh, they're watching the kids. I'm asking you to come over because I'm having a hard time coming to you. I'm not quite the pro on skates. Let's bring you over here. So I've got Gary and uh, Mike here. Really quickly, why is it so important for you to be involved um, in today's event? Well, just uh, just watching the kids reminds you of when you yeah. know you were growing up and uh, you had the big dreams of, of going somewhere, and uh, it's great to see uh, you know the kids out here enjoying and. Uh, you know, it's it's a give back, so yeah. we feel good about it. And, and Mike, it's pretty incredible to see how talented these kids are. You know, it really <laughs> is. Uh, I think at this age, I don't even know if I was skating at this age, but it is it is so cool. And then the best part is when Mitch and the rest of the boys yeah. come on the ice to see these kids, the smiles on their faces. It's yeah. it really is priceless. We're gonna take a quick uh, break, a commercial break, but really quickly, the Oilers, they just came so close to winning winning the Stanley Cup. I want to know your thoughts on that. Yeah, pretty heartbreaking yeah. For, for, for Canada. And, uh, you know, even being on the last team that, that uh, won it in Canada, yeah. we, we were uh, looking forward to passing the torch, and it was heartbreaking for everybody. I think it's like Gary says, it was disappointing for Canada, but hey, they came close to learn how to, uh, as they say, they, you got to learn how to 
lose before you learn how to win, and hopefully they'll be able to get it done sooner than later. There you go. Go okay, Canada. Thank, go Canada. Thank you so much. Uh, we're here in Vaughan. Good morning. We are live here in Vaughan at the Sports Village. It's all for the Mitch Marner uh, Invitational, which takes place today. We are on the ice. I'm joined by the Marner family, Bonnie and Chris. Good morning. Hi, how are you? Good morning. Um, I always said I do not envy hockey moms because you're in the cold 365 days of yeah. the year, and I'm feeling it. I get it now. Yeah, yeah. It, it, uh, and every summer... <laughs> With two boys, yes. every holiday was always in an ice rink. My goodness, yeah. the sacrifices parents <laughs> made, right? How cool is it, Chris, to see the kids on the ice? They're so talented at such oh, a young awesome. age. I mean, it reminds me of me and Mitch when we were younger, too. Yeah. So cool. yeah, I was told that you two were phenomenal at a very young age. Yeah, uh, we both played a lot, that's for sure, yes. so it was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, Mitch was definitely a lot younger than I was. Yeah. I think I gave him all my skills, so definitely <laughs> helped. So. Uh, the big tailgate party was last night. Now we have the Invitational, and this is all going to the foundation, which is so crucial because you help so many different organizations. Yeah. 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 How important is that? Um, it's huge. It's And, and it's just makes you feel good. And um, uh, the kids, like, they have such a good time. Uh, everybody's been talking about that our friends have got, you know, that we've got friends that have got kids that are coming to it, and they're so excited. Um, but to be able to help people that need help, uh, you know, raise some money and do some good with it, and it's just a great opportunity. And can you believe, Chris, it's the sixth uh, season for this Right, event. we talked about it yesterday, yeah. and it's crazy how time, like how fast time is flowing by. Yeah. What is the biggest thing for you when you see the kids on the ice today? They see some of the NHL players and the alumni. It must be like a dream come true for them. I think the biggest thing for me is the fact they all get to go out and play with actual NHL players they look up to. So it might be a big factor for them to actually make a difference playing hockey and trying to become better players and move forward with it. All right. Yeah. I really appreciate you joining us. And again, if people want to help out, you can go to the uh, MarnerAssistFoundation.com. That's right. <laughs> sure. um, anything you'd like to say to anybody watching at home in terms of the foundation and how much it gives back? Uh, well, I mean, if, 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 if whatever you can do, I, I, it's, it doesn't necessarily always have to be money. It's like if you, if you help people, um, if you could help an elderly person cut their grass or bring in their paper or just anything, just pay it forward. You, you know. give compliments and be polite and yeah. just be friendly. Thank you. Yeah, yeah let's all pay it be forward. Kind. Let's all be kind. Yeah. Yeah. Or I think I'm going to talk to some of the kids. Okay. Be careful as you get off okay. the ice. Thank okay, you. thank you. And uh, kids, I'm going to bring them over. Hey, kids, come on over. Come on over. I'm asking them to come over because it's easier for them to skate to me than me skate to you. Hi. Let's go. What's your name? Luke. Sam. Luke. Eastern. Okay. You are all phenomenal skaters. I saw you going through the drills. Uh, how long have you been playing hockey? About four years. Uh, four years. Four years. Four years. Okay. In four years, to be able to do that, that's amazing. Uh, what are you looking forward to the most today with the Invitational? Uh, I would say skating with some of the NHL players. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Who's your favorite uh, player right now? Um... Austin Matthews. Oh, of course. Mitch Marner. Ah, good one. Matthews. Matthews. And how about you? Morgan Riley. Okay, so we're all Leafs fans here. Yes? Yeah. Um, how much do you love hockey? A lot. A lot? Enough to do it in the summertime when it's hot outside and it's cold in here? Yeah, like 10 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, favorite sport. All right. 24-7. 24-7. All right, so I want to try that drill again. What's the trick? in getting through the pylons. What do I need to do? Like, turn with your edges or something. Like, bang sure. your knees. Yeah, like, bang your knees. Like. Bang my knees so that I can go around the pylon. All right, and then should I, like, go down really low? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's see you do the drill. I know we've got just the one puck. Let's bring that puck over and let's see you take turns going along here. They're amazing, they're phenomenal. I cannot keep up. 
But again, if you want more information to help out, it is the MarnerAssistFoundation.com. Stay tuned because in our next segment, we will be talking to the man himself, Mitch Marner. He's going to join us right here on CP24 Breakfast. Good morning. We are live here in Vaughan at the Sports Village, and I am joined by none other than Mitch Marner. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Your, your mother said I can call you Mitchell. Yeah, yeah no problem. <laughs> she's, uh, she's the boss of the family. I so. think she's super cute that she calls yeah, you yeah. Mitchell, and yeah. I said, you know what? Now I know what a hockey mom feels like. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing a park on July. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it gets cold out here quickly, so it's great, though. But I know you're used to the ice because you're wearing flip-flops, yeah. and you're not cold. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, I'm... You know, technically born in the rink. I've been in the rink since I was three years old. So I just uh, oh, no. kind of get used to it. Used to being on the ice and all sort of feet wear. Let's talk about the Marner Assist Foundation uh, sixth season. You had the tailgate party today, and today's the big invitational. Mm -hmm. Why is it so important for you to host these events? Um, well, I mean, I think obviously we're given a great spotlight in our, you know, our respective job and what we do. And um, you know, I've always worked with Natasha, and I've. Always talked about doing our own charity work, and you know, lucky enough, got to you know really put it to fruition six years ago, and started working on something a little bit before that to try to figure out what we want to do and make it somewhat unique in its own way. And um, she's been with a couple of football players. I kind of did a little football way of this, yeah. and we thought, well, why not try a hockey way? Everyone usually doing a golf tournament or something like that. Why not try to make it unique and cool in its own way? So we decided to do a little tailgate party for the adults at night uh, yesterday, and then today's kind of. They're still adults, but a lot of kids and um, you know a lot of participants in the on ice little skills uh, little skills challenge here. And the kids, the kids here. I told them mm -hmm. we have a half an hour break between each segment. You can yeah. take a break. They're like, no, yeah, yeah, we yeah. want to play. Yeah. They're so excited to be here. They're excited to see you mm -hmm. and some of the other players. Um, that's got to be a real treat to see the kids' faces light up like that. Yeah, no, it's amazing. I mean, that's that's why you love doing what you do. Um, it's really true. So. Um, yeah, you gotta respect it. I mean, the boys are just humming around back here, but that's what it's like growing up, uh, you know, in Toronto, really. All the time, whenever you can get on the ice, you wanna be on the ice, you wanna stay on it, and you wanna be with your buddies and having fun. There are some credible organizations that are gonna benefit from your foundation. Mm -hmm. For example, Second Harvest, 360 Kids. Yep. Um, you know, what have these organizations have said? Because I know it's hard sometimes for some of these charities to raise money, yeah. so this is really important. Yeah, of course. Um, you know, like you just said, obviously it is hard sometimes raising money throughout, especially these last couple of years with everything going on. So, um, yeah, we we're really happy to be joining partners with them. Um, we know what such great work they do to help out the youth uh, in our communities, and that's what we want. We want our youth in our communities to be active, having fun, doing stuff that they love to do. And, um, you know, obviously Second Harvest is a different one. You know, it's families in need that need food, and um, that's another hard thing right now going on is, you know, the struggle for that. So we're very happy to be with both those companies, a couple other amazing ones as well. But um, yeah, we're majority looking at trying to help our youth just get active, have fun with their life, and you know, really get the enjoyment of playing, being on ice or you know, being in the community just having fun. Yeah, if it, people want more information, if you want to help out, MarnerAssistFoundation.com. Last year, I'm a huge Shania Twain mm -hmm. fan, and I was at her concert, and believe it or not, mm -hmm. you were there. Yeah, yeah. You were pulled up on the stage, which was such a surprise, mm -hmm. and now you've partnered up with Shania for many things. Tell me a little bit more about this partnership. Yeah, um, it's amazing. Yeah, Shania's uh, foundation and my foundation have partnered up to uh, build a park uh, outside of a school. Um, we're very excited about it. It should be a lot of fun. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's coming along nicely, and, you know, we're just... Shania is an awesome woman, and we're very lucky to be uh, with her and, you know, call her a friend. All right, so I can't, I can't wait for that partnership to happen, that park um, getting going this mm -hmm. summer. Um, I have a puck in my hand. Yeah. I'm going to run through a drill. Can Let's I get some it. tips from yeah, you? Yeah, what, what's the trick to this? Like, well, lay low? Have fun with it, I would say. Enjoy it. Keep the stick away from your uh, feet so you don't fall. Okay. And then, and then when there I'm stick go. handling yeah, yeah, yeah. like this? That's perfect. And then what do I do? And there you go, there you go. Just push it ahead. And a little easier if you just push it ahead. There you go. You're a natural at this. You said it's your like first time on the ice. It's, I think you're lying. It's my like second time doing that, but I can't stop. I got you, I got you, there you go. Thank you. The stopping's always the hardest. <laughs> always right to the boards as a child. That's how you learn. You, you don't want to hit the boards hard, so you finally learn to stop. But. Fantastic tips. Yeah. You don't want to hit the <laughs> board. I will remember that. Exactly. Mitch, thank you so much for chatting with us mm -hmm. this morning. Oh, thank you for having me. Yeah, very We're, excited for the day. Good morning. We are live here at Sports Village in Vaughan, getting ready for the Marner Assist Foundation Invitational. The kids have
have arrived, Mitch, and yeah. they're excited. They're having breakfast right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so what are um, what is in store for everybody today at the Invitational? Yeah, well, obviously you got to fuel up before the, the big day starts. But um, yeah, behind us here, we got a relay race. As you can kind of see, a couple little kind of cool little um, agile things you got to run through. Um, across the pad, we have, I think it's best shot. Um, and then we have a fastest skater, and then we have a little scrimmage pad. So, um, four pads all going to be active today, and it's going to be a lot of fun. And you, you're bringing some of your friends too, right? Yeah. Who are going to participate? Who yes. are some of your friends that are of coming course, out today? Of course, yeah. Um, yeah, no, very thankful. Obviously, it's a busy time for us hockey players in the summertime, but um, our captain, John Tavares, is going to be out here today. Connor Brown from the Oilers, uh, Michael Bunting from the Penguins, um, Sorelli from Tampa Bay Lightning, and you know, the list kind of goes on and on. So, very thankful for the guys taking busy times out of their schedule. and. You know, being able to come and help me. Absolutely, this. and you know what? I find that the hockey community is a really tight knit community. Everyone mm -hmm. rallies together and helps each other out, especially for a good cause like your foundation. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think um, you know that's the great thing about hockey. Obviously, on ice, we're very competitive. We're not friendly at all. Um, <laughs> but when you get off the ice, you know the friendship comes into fruition really, and um, you, know, you play with these guys that uh, you have a love, everlasting friendship with, yeah. and that's something special. So. Like I said, very thankful that uh, they can come and help me and you know support our charity today. And you know these kids are very excited to see them all on the ice and have fun and ask them questions about how they can get their game better. So how excited are you to have two legends? Yeah, right amazing. Behind? Like I they're know. huge. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Gary Mike and, and Gary. Mike, yeah. Um, you know, I've been very thankful for them. They've been here every single year as well. And um, you know, they're uh, the, it's always awesome when we get in the locker room with those two and they're telling the stories back in you know their time in the NHL and how the different kind of comparisons are nowadays. But um, yeah, they've been they've been awesome every single year being here. They bring such energy, and you know they were here bright and early this morning. And um, always thankful for them to come out. Let's bring them over, Gary and Mike. Come on over. Yeah, come on yeah. over. That's crazy. We, eh? Wild how they hi. do that. Hey, we were just tower talking over me. I'm not no skates. <laughs> we were just talking about how it is, how what a treat it is for the kids here to have two legends join them on the ice. Legends. Legends. I like, I like, like, like Legends, right? Yeah. yeah, we're gonna ask them if they remember us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You were making fun of me earlier when we were oh, doing the interview. I was holding my stick like this. Why is this so funny? I'm not... It's not, it's like a microphone. Oh, that's well, you, you were holding your stick like this <laughs> in that hand. Okay. Even better, yeah. And it's like I'm holding it like a microphone. So how, yeah. how am I supposed to hold it like a hockey player? Which what? way are you left? I'm a righty. Okay, so I shoot right. Top hand, right there. Like this? Like that. There you, there you go. Oh, and then even when you're just Go relaxed, to the net. Go to the net. <laughs> and go to the back stick post. Stick on the ice. <laughs> what are you hoping to get out of today with the kids um, for this invitational? You just want to have a good time? Show the kids a good time? Obviously, we're, we're, when we're teaching, you yeah. try to teach them something. you got to get something out of it. And then, like I said, the best part I like is when he comes over, Mitch comes over and sees the kids, and, and then they're, when they skate away, they're like, man, I met Mitch Martin, I met Mitch Martin, yeah, yeah. That's, the, that's the best part. That's a, he doesn't see it, we see it. I see it. What about you, Gary? Well, I, I guess um, just seeing their smiles, you know, like it's a special day for them, and uh, to see every kid smile, you never know what's going on in their lives and stuff like that, so it's a, it's a great day for them and make sure they have fun, that's all. It's all about fun. It's going to be a great day. Again, if you want to help out Marner Assist Foundation, I really appreciate all of you joining me this morning. Do you ever get tired of the nickname Crusher? Never. I love it. Never. It's probably one of my favorite nicknames Never. ever. I'm hanging out with the Crusher, Mitch and Gary. Thank you so much.